What's up guys and welcome to the very first video in a series of videos that I'm going to be making here on Rosemary Media dealing with all of the things that I am excited for in 2019. This very first one is going to deal with music, then we've got games, movies, and television following that. So for this one, let's talk about all of the albums that I'm excited for that should release this year. I put this one last because it's not 100% confirmed but I still believe. The Strokes album Is This It is one of my favorite albums of all time, and I cannot wait to see what they'll do on something new. Sampa's debut LP was one of the best things I heard in 2017, and ever since I've been patiently waiting to see what he could do with a follow-up, and hopefully this is the year. I am a bigger Justin Bieber fan than I ever thought that I was. I don't like to admit that, but the front half of his last album is one of my most listened to chunk of songs on all of Apple Music. I heard rumors that his next shit was going to be like a Christian record or something, so I hope that isn't true, and instead he just gives us all the bangers. This girl is going to have a huge year, and I hope that with her new album being released in January, which is this month, it doesn't get overlooked 10 months from now when we start looking at the best of 2019. She has all the talent in the world and I'm excited to see her blow the hell up this year. What do I really need to say here? The rumors are out there, the album's coming, it might be a week away, it might be two weeks away, it might be three weeks away, nobody knows. But James Blake is one of the coolest cats in the game and every time he drops a new album it's monumental and whatever he puts out this year or this month or whatever, it's going to be no exception to that. Copeland's new album Blushing is coming out in February and I've been pining for this thing since the first time I heard Exora back in 2014. It's insane that it's been almost five years since that was released and I am just so grateful that I get to witness this band continue and have for the last decade. How wild is it that apparently we're getting a new album from The Cure this year? What did we do to deserve 2019? Hopefully it's better than the last album they put out in like 2008, I think it was. I want some disintegration level shit. Will I get that? Probably not, but a boy can dream. Lana's titled her new album Norman Fucking Rockwell and the singles she's released from it thus far are some of the best songs I've ever heard her do. My hopes are high for this one and I think it'll be your best effort to date and I think Jack Antonoff will be the main reason why. This hasn't been confirmed by any means, but Tyler is typically pretty consistent with his turnaround time and I can't even begin to think of how he's going to follow up Flower Boy, which was easily his best record. Tyler just keeps maturing and getting better as an artist, so it's hard to doubt him at this point. I know, I know, Kanye didn't have a great year in the public eye, but his production was absolutely on point, as per usual. He worked himself a little too hard in 2018, both behind the boards and on Twitter, but I have all the faith in the world that when he finally decides to drop Yandi, it's going to be something special. Currents is one of the best albums I've ever heard in the last few years. Or ever. I don't know. It's too soon. It's literally the perfect electronic indie synth pop record, and I pray to the heavens above that he continues with that style of music with this next record, as opposed to the more guitar-driven indie music that he was making previously. Which was also great, just not Currents great. Donald Glover is out of control. Like, literally nobody can stop him, and at this rate, he's going to eventually just be the President of the United States, and I think I'm fine with that. I hope his new album, however, is a blend of the last two with some funky vibes and lots of singing, but also a nice blend of rapping in there as well. Glover always likes to keep things interesting, and I am definitely interested. This one's kind of out of left field, but Carrie and Lowell came out back in 2006, so it's been three years and the only other thing he's really done since was that weird as hell planetarium project, so I think we can get some new Sufi 2019. Uh, and we'll all just piss ourselves simultaneously over how good it's going to be. Chance has to release an album this year. Has to. Hell, he might even release two. God knows he's got Chance 4 ready as hell to come out after dropping six different singles last year. But he's also got that seven song album with Kanye that'll probably come out sometime this year? Maybe? I know it's called Good Ass Job, so that's something. 
It could be a giant year for Chicago's pride and joy, if that's true. Now these next five that I'm gonna list, I fully expect to be my top five albums of the year by this December. The Japanese House released four of my favorite EPs ever, and my expectation is that her debut full length will be every bit as good as those. Her entire sound is just completely everything I want out of music. My god, it's been far too long since we've gotten a new Vampire Weekend album, but this year is finally the year. The album's done. And after a lineup change with Rossum no longer being in the band, everyone is on their toes with anticipation to see what they'll sound like without him, and my expectation is that they'll knock it out of the fucking park just like they always do. The 1975 released my favorite album last year with a brief inquiry into online relationships, and now they are apparently going to turn around and release its follow-up, Notes on a Conditional Form, sometime late this spring or early summer, as of right now. Whether or not that release window stays true is to be seen, but they've said that we can expect some nighttime tunes on this one, so I think we're going to get a lot more of a moodier, slower, vibier album, and I am here for it. Justin Vernon got drunk on Instagram, searching for an engineer, and probably let a little more out about the next Bon Iver album than he would have liked to. We heard part of a new song, we saw a potential track listing, and we know that it's a ways away, but it still exists. They're already showing up on a bunch of festival dates in 2019, so I have zero doubt that we'll get a new album and a full-blown tour by Bon Iver this year. Now who didn't see this shit coming? Frank Ocean, my pride and joy, the GOAT, uh, the greatest artist of our generation, please gift us with a new album in 2019. I think we've all behaved ourselves since Blonde and Endless were released, and have not asked for much, so if at all possible, could be maybe, just maybe, get a new LP in time for the summer. I just got a new car, and I want people to know how fucking cool I am by just pouring that album out of my windows. Thank you. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Um, there's probably a bunch of albums that I totally either forgot about or didn't get to put on the list because I was limiting it to 19, whatever. If there's any that I definitely, absolutely forgot that you think I should be excited for, put it down in the comments down there. And I'll see you next time.